Hello Blender users, this is Blender 2.6 and we are in the game engine. Today we are going to go through an exciting tutorial that deals with physics. So let me show you what we are up to today. So as you can see this is a hanging uh, locomotive and this moves by physics not by animation. It has a pretty accurate movement in terms of real life physics. Plus it's fairly amazing. And this can be applied to virtually anything including trains, roller coasters. Tell me more. Um, Alright, so let me preview this again in wireframe mode. So you can look at the specifics. We are going to be dealing with spheres inside the rails. Uh, they are applied, they are spun by a torque. And that's how they accelerate. Alright, let's get started. Just save this and it should be good. Alright. So here we have our basic blender home screen. Let's start with a cube. That's that's fine. Move this to the left and duplicate this. Move this to the right. Uh, this is going to be our rail for now. Oops. Just delete uh, the forward facing faces and add an array modifier uh, let's you know what let's just stick with this or Z 90 all right that's good enough I'm going to merge this and let's see uh, yeah that's perfect now you can go as far as you want you can play around with this as well it's totally up to you We'll look at this later, but for now, uh, we're good. So let's open, let's add a, an icosphere and keep this low poly. You can also use uh, a, a cube for that matter, but whatever. Go to its physics properties. Oh, it's not set in the game engine. Let's set this in the game engine. Uh, make sure this is a rigid body collision bounds sphere right uh, once we have this we should go to constraints and add a rigid body joint uh, okay so that's looking good uh, just display the pivot Add another rigid body joint, display the pivot again. Move this uh, to the right, to the left, and this one to the right. It doesn't matter which way you do it, but you gotta do it. Then we add another cube. Give this normal physics properties. Rigid body. For now, let's just stick with this. Um, once we have this, we should add our target as the cube. Uh, in your case, you might want to name them correctly so it does not avoid confusions because we are going to be dealing with a lot of objects sooner or later. So let me just see how this work. Okay, that's that's great. Now let's add a torque. So the more whenever I hit spacebar, a torque. Motion, uh, look for motion torque of a thousand. Well, let's stick with 100 actually. 100 Newton meters 
should be applied onto the object. Okay. All right, that works. That's fine. Now duplicate this and move the other one to the right side. As you can see, we are pretty much on to something already. Now it is very important that you have a material for this uh, simply because we need to play on the, with the friction. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's pretty good for now. now. Once we have this, we should be fine duplicating this. Let's duplicate this and that. There we go. Let's see how does that work. That works fine. All right. Now let's just connect these two together, and that should be our basic skeleton for the tram. So add a rigid body joint. I connect this to cube 001 in my case and connect this backwards so when I hit spacebar you can see it starts going forward of course it fa falls off this thing let's expand this S X 2 let's stick with this alright that that's looking good now how do we add a curve well, that's simple just add a curve nurse path uh, simple enough and just add a curve modifier onto this nerves path right. that's good enough I'm just gonna scale this up And now you can just bend this around and stuff. So as you can see, if I bend this around and extend this by increasing its array count, this should pretty much go forever. And that's looking good. We have the basic physics. All right. So, so hopefully we have got the gist of what we're doing here. In case you haven't, uh, in case you haven't been following, uh, basically what we've done is added four icospheres that spin along the local y-axis and they are connected to these uh, rigid bodies that are connected to each other so hopefully you get the picture and it works awesome now let's get into the modeling part so what I'm going to do is just move this to the second layer And individually model this so we're just gonna quickly model this because this is not supposed to be a modeling tutorial one of the things that we might have to keep in mind is 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 the fact that this is going to be a triangle mesh so making this high poly is not going to help in any way. Alright, so here I have finished modeling a single car. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to name this. Uh, whatever. Okay, let me 
move this back again. In theory, there should be nothing wrong. It should be working fine, and it is working fine. So we can now proceed. Make sure this is a triangle mesh. And let's just scale this up because the, the size is way too unrealistic. Uh, Alright, let's stick with 3. No, obviously this is not going to work. Let's see if this works. Oh well, it works. Whatever. I'm just gonna move this ahead. Whoa, this is hard. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, once we have this, just duplicate this and move this backwards. Now, this is what I was talking about in the past that you might want to name them correctly so it does not confuse you. So, I'm going to be sticking with three as in the tutorial, uh, the demo I did earlier. Let's move this backwards a little bit. Now, if I play this, if I get this running, it works fine, but there there is one problem. It's not connected. When I'm, what I mean by not connected is that if this speeds up, this is not going to speed up. This is not going to speed up at any given point. They can sort of collide and you know go away, and that's unrealistic to make it uh, physic physically accurate you have to make sure to connect this to this in order to do that we just add a rigid body joint and connect it to cube 001 we do the same thing here This is cube 003, so I gotta make sure this is right. Once we have that, this should be good to go. Although there is one problem. If you think about physics, um, the pivot is right at the center of mass. You have to shift it uh, behind for it to you know, have the action of pulling it rather than just yeah, it just doesn't work if you put it right at the center of mass. So just pull this behind, display the pivot, pull it. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. This was not supposed to be moved, it was this that was supposed to be moved. Right, uh, that's good enough. Same here, display pivot, and move it a bit behind and this should be good to go so the moment I hit spacebar I know it is sort of slow you can increase the torque or the angular velocity whatever you like and there you can see there it goes and in theory it's speeding up right now but again there's friction as well so yeah um, thank you for watching uh, feel free to comment below about the tutorial, ask questions, recommend me other tutorials, and that shall be all. This is me signing off again, and before I leave, I just wanted to play this again because it's so amazing.